Now, a lot of people look at the word estimate and think, oh, let's just take a guess at it. The reason we're estimating is because of the first step that we have to do to answer this question. It doesn't mean that just have a quick punt and guess at it. With this question, you won't be able to guess it correctly, or it'd be very, very unlikely. So we approach this the same as if it wasn't a group. However, we do have a group, so we've got to do a step first. This means that we've got a value somewhere between 0 and 4, uh, including 4 but not including 0. Now the problem is that the first step in this method is to multiply these two numbers together, but you can't times somewhere between 0 and 4 by 14. So what we need to do first is find the midpoint. The reason we pick the midpoint is it's a good number to use to represent that group. If we assumed all those numbers were 0, then it would probably be ridiculously small. If we assume they were all 4, again, it would be too high. So we assume that all those are 2 because it's right in the middle of the group, and chances are that most of them are closer to 2 than 0 or 4. So we find the midpoint of each of the groups, and a way of doing this is just adding the lowest and highest value together and dividing it by 2. Or just having a look, 4 to 8 will be 6, 8 to 12 halfway will be 10, uh, 12 to 16 halfway will be 14, and 16 to 20 halfway will be 18. Then what we do is we get the frequencies and times them by the midpoints. So it's the same as if it wasn't a group now. So we do 14 times 2, which is 28, 6 times 6 is 36, 3 times 10 is 30, and then you can use a calculator for this, so 9 times 14. I have an idea of what it's going to be. Hopefully it's 126, which it is, good. And 2 times 18, which is 36. And this is our, I call this the fx, although in this case we are calling the first one s, so it's the fs column. And then we need to find the sum of the fs column. So we're going to add up 28, 36, 30, 126, and 36 in the calculator, which is 256. And then we're going to sum up the frequencies, which is this column here. So 14 plus 6 plus 3 plus 9 plus 2, which is 34. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the 256, which is all our values added together and divide it by 34. So 256 divided by 34. And I get the answer of 7.5294 blah blah blah. And two decimal places, that's going to be 7.53. Now, the reason it's an estimate, as I've said before, is that we don't know that all the values in the first group are 2. Uh, we are estimating them to all be 2, even though we know that some of them will be 1, some of them will be 3. But chance it will balance out that it's roughly going to be about 2 in that group, and 6 in the next group, and 10 in the group after. That's where the word estimate comes. Um, the method for doing this uh, is, is how I've shown it here. I don't believe there's any other methods you can use for this.